Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and today we are trying out the Sonic the Hedgehog cereal. Now this came out around the same time as a Sonic movie, as if it's trying to promote it a little bit. And according to the front of the box, it has a sweetened honey flavored cereal with Sonic marshmallows. So the first thing I think of is, oh man, it's probably gonna taste like Honey Nut Cheerios. Only problem is, I never had Honey Nut Cheerios before. So after we try this out, we're gonna compare it to this as a first time try. First I review Sonic figures, now I'm reviewing Sonic cereal. Am I gonna review the Sonic movie? Probably not. I'm not a movie critic, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to fully analyze a movie and do that. Besides I'm a Sonic fanboy, of course I'm gonna tell you I loved the Sonic movie. But anyway, besides that, let's take a look at this box. This is because that's what's gonna sell you on it. Not just the fact that it's Sonic. So like I said earlier, so we have like a, a modern Sonic render on here with a little promo saying Sonic the Hedgehog 2, only in theaters. I don't know how much longer it's going to say that because rumors are saying at the end of the month it's coming to Paramount Plus. So is it going to say now streaming on Paramount Plus or are they just going to get rid of it all together? I don't know. But some of you are probably wondering why are they showing off modern Sonic if it should probably promote the Sonic movie since this is a Sonic cereal around the Sonic movie. I don't know. Well, the main reason for that probably is because on the side of it, it's also promoting the app. At least one of the apps. The first Sonic Dash game. Because how many da Sonic mobile games are there now? Is Sonic Jump still a thing? I know Sonic Forces is somehow still kicking. Uh, there was a Sonic Boom Sonic Dash game. That was, that was something. Anyway, uh, you play the game and you unlock rewards. It's on iOS and Android. And apparently on Windows. I remember it was on Windows for a while. I'm not sure if it still is, though. Now, on the other side, we got nutritional facts. There's going to be a bunch of words on here that I've never heard of before. So that should probably scare me. But in all reality, if you eat McDonald's, you shouldn't be scared of what's in here. But then on the back of it... Well, okay, never mind. On the back of it, like this, uh, we got ourselves a game! Now, I love it when cereals have, like, something for you to interact with on the back of the box. Because uh, I'm not sure how many are still kids. I'm pretty sure a good chunk of you are. But... As an adult, you kind of miss that. Getting ready for school, looking on the back of the box. Sometimes there's a promotion for a toy or something, but no, we got a game on the back of this. But if you try to do that as an adult, you probably get sad. I don't know. So the two games on here, you gotta count all the rings. You see all of them, but if you count all of them, there's a certain times that you gotta try to beat. There's a hundred rings on here, but if you do it in less than a minute, you're supersonic. And if you do it between a minute and three minutes, too easy. If you do it between three to five minutes, I'm waiting, which I love that. I love how it calls back to Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which by the way, I am rewatching that now. It, it, I, I still have fun with it. I love the art style of it. Like, it's, I think it still holds up pretty well. But I've never seen Sat AM, so after I finish Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm gonna try out Sat AM. And then if you're over five minutes, you gotta step it up. Get good, bro. And then the other game to it is you gotta find all the Chaos Emeralds. Now that one's not time. You just gotta find the Chaos Emeralds. Now it has a render of uh, Green Hill Zone. I'm pretty sure this is like the one from uh, Sonic Generations. Which is crazy to think that a game came out 10 years ago and a Sonic game hasn't been that good. I guess until Sonic Mania, which even then, I barely count that because that was made by Sonic fans, not by Sonic Team. But that's pretty much it for the box. Um... Let's open it up and actually try it. Imagine if I was a professional unboxer. It had gloves and a knife and unboxed it that way. Dude, imagine how stupid that would be. Screw that. Well, it smells like honey, I guess. It smells good. All right, I'm a, I, I'm a, okay, I was a little nervous going into this. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm a very picky eater and I, I'm scared of trying new things. I hate it, because I'm almost 30. I should get over that, but it's still tough for me. I hate it. Anyway, uh, smells fantastic. It smells like it's going to give me diabetes. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready for this. Okay, so uh, here's a, a ring. It looks a little bit bigger than a standard Cheerio, but it, here it is. But since it's supposed to be a ring, it has me thinking. If I think of a place and throw this, will it open up a portal to there? Okay, okay, we're gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Nintendo New York. I don't have money to go to Nintendo New York, but I still wanna look around at least. 
And according to Sonic in the movie, you just gotta think of it and throw it. Nintendo New York. No. Nah, no, it didn't work. I didn't even hear it hit, hit the wall either. I, I think it just vanished. I think it went to Nintendo in New York. Cause again, I didn't even hear it hit the wall or anything. <laughs> well, whoops. I think we probably should try this dry. Cause I have a couple more right here. Hmm. It's not bad. I don't feel fast yet, but it's, but it's not bad. Now let's get ourselves a bowl and actually try this cereal with some milk. I didn't have breakfast yet, so this is actually gonna be my breakfast. Yeah. I guess I probably should keep this milk here since I gotta try the Honey Nut Cheerios too. All right. Bottoms up. Part of me wants to get these little emeralds, just take a bunch of these. I don't know if I wanna try and go Super Kyle, Super KGR, but since the ring trick didn't work, I don't know. Maybe these emeralds will probably just disappear like that thing did. Okay, now putting it in milk. The aroma I'm getting off of this, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, if there was no context, if there was like saying like, hey, if I didn't know this is a Sonic cereal, and someone put this in front of me, and the smells I'm getting off it right now, I'd pass. Nah, nah, this, I'm not intrigued by this at all. Again, this is coming from a picky eater though, so like, work with that. I don't know how to describe the flavor. Because when you add marshmallows to it, it's a lot. I don't know. It's definitely a lot of sugar. <laughs> definitely not good for you. Actually, what are, other, what are the nutritional benefits out of this thing? Zero milligrams of cholesterol. Well, that's good. Uh, 31 grams of carbs. All right. This is if you, like, get a cup, though. I'm not sure if I pour a cup. I don't know. Ah, okay. 10% uh, vitamin D, 10% calcium, 20% iron, okay. 10% vitamin A, 10% vitamin C. Okay, it looks like it's kind of good, but, but what's the sugar count though? There's 2% total fat apparently, but, but what's the sugar count? Because that, oh, okay, 12 grams of sugar. I don't know, I I'll just show you the thing and then you can just Pause it and just read it from there. Because, uh, th th there, there's some stuff happening here. But from first bite, I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I ain't liking it, Chief. I'll, I'll be real with you. If you ask me to describe the flavor, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, the marshmallows taste good. I guess, but that's just all sugar. I'll be real with you. Now I really don't want to try the Honey Nut Cheerios after eating this, because if sweetened honey flavored cereal is supposed to taste like that, I, I think I poured too much in here. I'm gonna throw a lot of this away, I'm pretty sure. I I'll I'm gonna finish this. Do I recommend collecting it? If you want to be a weirdo, yeah. I can't judge you too much. I have a box sitting on top of my bookcase alongside the Mario cereal. Okay, that's a good point. Uh, how does this taste compared to the Mario cereal? The Mario cereal just tasted like tricks, but with marshmallows. It looked like it would have, like, tasted like Lucky Charms or something, but no, it actually tastes a lot like tricks. This, on the other hand, I don't know. It tastes like the quality of most recent Sonic games. Kids might like it, but adults, no. I mean, that bite had a lot of marshmallows, though, so I'm at least thankful for that. I don't know. For the kids who are probably watching this video, let me know in the comments, what did you think of this cereal? As an adult, I don't really like it all that much. I would much, much rather eat, like, you know, like Lucky Charms 
or Frosted Cheerios, Captain Crunch. But this, no, nah, I don't really like this one, guys. <laughs> Got one more bite, and yeah, I give up. I'm calling it quits, man. Not as gross. I don't like this. It feels like it's trying to go for that, that waffle crisp type of taste, which I don't even know if that's even a cereal anymore. Like, it tastes like it's almost trying to go for a waffle flavor, but then like fails, like but it, like, it like stops halfway there or something. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe this thing. It's just not very tasty to me, but it could just be me. I'm a picky eater, but it's a sugary cereal. You'd think I'd like it, but no, I guess a uh, sweet and honey flavored isn't for me. But I wanna guess, if you like Honey Nut Cheerios, you might be able to tolerate this, but it adds marshmallows, so do with that as you will. I don't mind when they add marshmallow to cereal. I've had fr Fruit Loops. Yeah, I've had Fruit Loops with marshmallows added, and now it's just a sugary rush. I'm pretty sure I'm diabetic because of that. But this, no. Dry, it wasn't awful. But once it's added with milk, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass on that one, Chief. Well, it looks like I gotta eat something else for breakfast, but it's 1 o'clock p.m. Maybe I, maybe I should actually have lunch. Let's do that. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's this week's video, ladies and gentlemen. This cereal, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now. Do I, do I just throw away the whole box? Do I have Michaela try it? Michaela's not home right now, so I can't have her try it right now. But it's moments like these that also make me a little bit scared to try new things. I get scared of being grossed out by food. And it's something that I struggle with and I hate it so, so much. I hate being a picky eater. But I also hate trying new food. It's like it's scary. I don't know. I hate it. But anyway, that's it for the video. So if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. Uh, in the description is gonna be my social media. Uh, again, let me know in the comments uh, what did you think of this cereal if you tried it. I think kids might like it. Kids might tolerate it, especially if they like Honey Nut Cheerios, I guess. But as an adult who's almost 30. I, I can't do it. I mean, I'll eat other kids' cereals. I'll eat Fruit Loops. I'll eat Crunch Berries. I'll have even Fruit Loops with marshmallows. I don't care. But this just overall tasted disgusting. I'll, I don't think it was the fact that it was too sweet. It just didn't have a good flavor to it. Bleh. That's how I rank this review. A bleh out of 10. Yeah. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you guys to death. And I'll see y'all in the next one. So, uh, peace, peace, I guess. I, I gotta get something else. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, guys.